Hello guys, Matthew97657 here, and today we have more of a uh, untraditional style of recording as I'm still actually trying to figure out why, the way I want to record, and it's rather difficult with the table I have, and I don't really know any like ideal recording setup for figures, I have to look into it, but I mean obviously the Ghidorah is in the background, as today we are going to be um, unboxing and reviewing, it's in an Amazon package so it doesn't matter, I'm opening it up real quick, uh, the SH Monster Arts Mothra and Rodan double set. That's pretty much what it is. I don't want to damage the box under, so I'm going to be a little wary on the cutting. So, yeah. Uh, this is the final SH Monster Arts. We're going to get for a while, honestly. Uh, excluding um, Burning Godzilla, which is in May for Japan and... Oh wow, okay. Right off the bat, the box is open, which is kind of confusing. Maybe the delivery service was a little rough with it. I hope not. Anyways, it'll be coming out in May for Japan and June for the United States. So that's gonna be quite a while until, you know, for SH Monster Arts. And my hair's long, I do need a haircut again. I'm planning to get one soon, but as I try and re-fix the box, because I literally opened it, and as you can see, the tape was already opened up. Not sure what that was all about, but here it is. The Mothra and Rodan dual set uh, by SH Monster Arts, and we got the sand, Mothra and Rodan, and Rodan's color, Mothra and Rodan, and Mothra's color. And in the back, posing the two. So nothing more to do than to get right into it. And everything, I hope everything's fine in there. I mean, the box is okay for the most part it didn't get too damaged up which i'll probably save and so here they are in their packaging okay a bottom piece fell out i believe i don't know what that's too honestly it looks like it's for their feet but we're gonna take this off and get right into it so here we have mothra she feels very, I don't want to say hard plasticky, like the Bandai movie monster series, but she feels different from the NECA one as well, in my opinion. She's like more of a plastic instead of a, instead of, I don't know. I need to actually like touch up on this type of stuff. So here we have her, Mothra, in her, you know, traditional paint scheme, not the uh, bioluminescent version, which is, uh, it can go either way. Uh, depending how you feel on which version you want her in so this is her i mean there's nothing more to her and you got like maybe some points of articulation on the arms the face doesn't look too bad i mean the body's a little like too tan for how she looked in the movie but i mean you can get these really cool dynamic poses unlike the NECA one because my NECA one the wings always tend to droop which is unfortunate but i'll probably have to just fix it with like um, what is it that people use? Clear nail polish, maybe? We have some parts to, to hold them in place. So that's Mothra. This is a really tiny piece. I have no idea what that's to. We'll get to it. Stand. Pulling out the other stand. Stand. And here's Rodan. And he's like this like burnt, not charcoal, but he's like a, almost like a velvet red. Uh, it looks really nice. Um, unfortunately, there's no like lava edging, which is, like I said, unfortunate because that was one of his cool little details he had in the movie. And it looks like there's like a huge, he has, his wings can really go there. Uh, it doesn't look like they can close all the way, though, which is kind of weird, in my opinion. It looks... And then, obviously, as we know, he has the uh, ab crunch, which a lot of people prefer for the uh, SH Monster. It's mouth closes. I mean, well, let's get the articulation out of the way. Mothra was pretty easy. Um, mouth open closes. Head rotates. I don't want to get too rough on it. It all rotates like that. You can't even see my eyes. Okay. Wings rotate in, so you know, like he's doing the the part in the movie where he like he comes up like that. Do that. Um, 
ab crunch. That, his feet, there's his foot, which is one piece, his actual leg, and then his thigh seem to have points of articulation. This little bottom piece is just kind of on there. Oh, but it can move up and down. And then that seems to be it for Rodan here, which isn't too shabby. I just kind of wish his wings could come in more. Because, I mean, now that I think about it, I'm probably going to have him in this when he's fighting Mothra. So yeah, base and base, and that seems to be it. Nothing too far fetched. No accessories. Like I mean, can you really give them any like real other accessories besides the ones they pretty much need? So here we have our base and stand and accessories detail on how to um, put them together. And it looks like they have different ways of doing it. So the Mothra one, the little piece is from Mothra. This one, so it can latch on to her little body right now. We'll have to do that. I just threw it off. Great. And, um, I mean, we're just going to assemble it. I'm not taking too long. And then this piece probably goes up here. And then for now, we'll just do this because it's more simple and straightforward. So this belly one looks for its Rodan. Um, okay. So something like that. There we go. And he's flying. I mean, pretty straightforward stand. Looks pretty nice. I mean, there's nothing more to it. Uh, downgrade from the NECA base. That NECA base was really nice. I like how NECA does those. Mm, okay. Oh man, I really need that small piece for Mothra. Because, well then what is the claw for? The claw is for Rodan if you want to. I'm actually kind of scared to do this, but. Off camera, here we go, and then. Yeah, that claw might not be. Anyways, that is Rodan. And that, now that looks nice. So just give me a, a quick moment while I look for this tiny little plastic piece. If I can find it. Oh, found it. All right, found it. It's always good to hear. And then we'll slide right back into it. So that looks nice. I really like that. I think that's going to... I think that's what I'm gonna go for with Rodan because the posability is greater with that compared to the NECA one. They both add, they both have their flaws and whatnot, but we did get a lot this year, guys, so that's always great to have, especially with the movie um, coming out already six months ago. Well, seven. And Mothra, it's telling me to do this and then it wants me to move all her little limbs out the way her little limbs seem to be really flexible which is kind of scary I'm rather scared on how this one works Is it clip on? I can't tell. I don't want her to fall. Well, anyways, that's how you can do one way of it. It's just not straight and then put her on. If I'm doing this wrong, I apologize. I'm just, I'm ready to have them because obviously I'm already a month behind on it. And yeah, there we go. Mothra, and then Rodan, what was him. And so what we're going to do now is do a quick little size comparison between our whole SH Monsters family and their NECA counterparts. So starting with Mothra. Here we go. And I apologize if my goopy big fingers get in the way, but here, here they are. So as we can see, 
the Netha, Neca, Netha, Neca Mothra is bigger. And then there's no translucent plastic with the SH Monster. It seems to be all painted, which can go away on what you prefer. I mean, if I had to pick, I really like the translucent one because it looks like more textury compared to this one. But to each their own. Um, and yes, the body is more like buggy. Like it has more of an actual bug body compared to this one. It looks like a little roasted cashew. Um, and I mean, yeah, I mean, the base, which looks really nice for the NECA one. I'm not sure if it'll fit with the uh, Mothra here, and it does. <sighs> See, this is not what we're going for. I That was my fault. I should have been more cautious, but yeah, the NECA stand works with the uh, SH Mountain Stage, which is nice, because the NECA, the bases, sorry, they look better. And here's our NECA Rodan. And let me get him out. Oh, man. And our monster arts are in. So, the monster arts one is wider compared to the NECA one, but the monster arts one doesn't have a little magma edge, which I mean, I personally think it should have had. I might actually just paint it on this one. And then this one has more of like a molten, um, igneous type of color scheme so this one looks more like a uh, like i said a very dark red velvet on uh, with light on it um at points i feel like this paint looks more accurate and then at points i feel like this one looks more accurate if it had the edging i think that would that would be amazing but that might be a job for me and i will tell you i will show you on a video if i ever do do it and so And here is the poster version, Godzilla 2019. He's still a little stiff. I haven't really used him that much because I was waiting for these guys to come in. And so here we have Mothra, Godzilla bigger, and then from a wider angle, Godzilla once again bigger. And then, you know, with the stand on, that's how they're looking. I, I want to be careful with Mothra because I feel like she'll fall easy. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna set her back here to give you an already pre-existing scale with Ghidorah. And then if you can see her, she looks tiny from there, but uh, we'll get to that. And then for Rodan, we'll put him in the, uh, this pose. It's a very unique pose compared to him just flying overhead, which is, Gives us variety, so it's nice. And then here's Rodan. And then here is Godzilla. And he's looking down, so maybe if I just want to make him look up. I'm not taking Rodan over, because I lied. I'm taking Rodan over, but I'm pinching him. So hopefully he doesn't fall over. And then here's Godzilla. Uh, accurate? I don't know. I mean, I never really... They don't directly encounter each other. I don't think at all in the movie. So it's kind of hard to scale them within each other, but if I had to assume, I think Rodan might be a tad too big, because, I mean, I'm not sure yet. But anyways, I'm going to move my chair to where we can see everyone. And so I'm not going to move Ghidorah at all, because I don't want him to fall. Same with these guys. I really, I mean, oh, and there's some boxes, and there's some paper. And then, if we get it just right, if we get everything just right, I'm just going to be a little risky. We have the whole family. And then there's a final words of Godzilla that hopefully y'all don't mind, but, uh, Overall, the whole SH Monster Rats line, we're going to go through, down it really fast. Rodan, nice, missing the edging, like I keep saying. Um, Ghidorah, too oversized, obviously. I mean, Godzilla can't even try and grab his heads as he could in the movie. Um, Godzilla, very nice. This one's very nice. The poster version, and I feel like, okay, I'm just going to talk from here so you can actually see him in color. Uh, poster Godzilla, very nice figure. I would highly recommend if you could get it. 
um, but for a fair price. I know it's hard, but I mean, if you can get it for a fair price, I would take that deal immediately. And Mothra, um, probably a less, probably a downgrade from NECA, but I mean, she looks, I mean, if you're comparing Ghidorah and Mothra, I guess they kind of go together, same with Rodan. You know, <clears throat> they're trying to have their own size compared to NECA. And Nick unfortunately doesn't have the King Ghidorah, and I would have shown that as well in other previous videos. But that guy is pretty much covers the whole SH monster art sign we have right now, besides for the uh, the Burning Godzilla, which will be coming out in June for us. So, I mean, it's been a journey going through all of them, pretty much. And I uh, appreciate everyone for watching this video. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, I highly recommend it. Uh, last video was going through this guy. And, yeah... Oh, uh, I'll make a really cool thumbnail and whatnot, but thank you guys for watching. You guys have yourself a great one.